In this video of Oracle, we will cover the subqueries. Basically, we will use the subquery when we don't know the exact value from which we need to make the comparison. For example, if I want to find out all those employees who are earning more than Alex, so first of all, I'll have to find what is the salary of Alex. And then after, I can make the comparison with the con condition. So, uh, basically, query within a query is a subquery or nested query or inner query. You can call it anything. But whenever you will put an inner query, the inner query will execute first and it will return the result to the outer or the main query. For example, as an example I have already taken, if I want to find out all those employees who are earning more than Alex, so the inner query will find out the salary of Alex. And after finding out, it will return the data in the particular salary to the main query or the outer query, which will be comparing that particular salary with the other salary. And any employee who are earning more than it will be there in the output. Now, on the basis of the number of rows returned by a subquery, we can classify it into two parts that is the single row subquery and multi row subquery. Means if the inner query is returning just a single record, then we will call a single row subquery. But if it is returning more than one, then we will call it multi row subquery. So accordingly, we will have to choose the operator for the single and multiple row subqueries. So let's do practically how can we work with the subqueries now. So let's get started with the implementation of subqueries and here we'll start with the single row subquery. In the single row subquery, the inner query will return you only a single value. For example, here if I want to find the employees earning more than Daniel or Nancy, you can take any particular name. So if I want to find the employee names who are earning more than Nancy, then first of all, I will have to find the salary of Nancy. So for that, let's write a simple query out here, like select salary from employees where first name is equal to Nancy. All right. So if I'll execute this, I will get the salary that is earned by Nancy. But now I don't want to get the salary of Nancy, but I want to get the employees earning more than this particular amount. So for that, what I'll do is I'll simply write a select statement. Like if I want to get the first name of that employee, so first name from employees where salary is greater than greater than what so inside this parenthesis I will start writing the subquery and here it, this is the subquery for me alright so we have already seen the execution of this single statement it is returning you 12,000 the amount now this particular result from the inner query will now be returned to the outer query and it will complete the outer query so after this query will get executed means it will return you 12,000 and it will make the outer query as select first name from employees where salary is greater than 12,000. First of all, your inner query will always execute. So let's execute and see who are all earning more than Nancy. So here are the names. If uh, any clarification required, I'll just add one more column salary to make sure like all the out uh, records in the output are earning more than 12,000 and you can see we have six employees who are earning more than 12,000 right here. So this is how you can start working with the subqueries where you don't know the exact value from which you want to make the comparison. Similarly, we can put the subqueries anywhere whenever you require any condition. For example, if you are using the update statement, even there you can go for such subqueries. For example, if I want to update a particular employee who's working in the same department as that of the Nancy. So what I'll do, I'll just make an increment of one in the salary of all those employees who are working in the same department as of Nancy. So I exactly don't know in which particular department Nancy is working right now. So what I'll do is I'll say select, I'll say update employees C 
set salary is equal to salary plus one. The reason why I'm updating it with one so that it will give me a clear result in the output. All right, I can see the difference in the output. So salary is equal to salary plus one, where department ID is equal to again you can start the subquery. So select department ID from employees where first name is equal to Nancy. All right. So again it is a subquery it will get executed first and it will return the value to the outer query and accordingly that will get executed so you can see six rows updated so let's find out what is the department of uh, Nancy so select uh, department ID from employees where first name is equal to Nancy all right so it's department 100 so let's find out all the employees working in department 100 all right and here you can observe the one at the last all right so that is how I can use the subquery even in the delete statement and or wherever you are passing some condition and you don't know the exact value it's not particularly only for the select statement but yes so, uh, the inner query will itself contain a select statement and it will choose all those columns a single or multiple columns which is required by the outer query now let's have a look on the multiple row subquery as here we have only a single Nancy in my table I knew that but there may be some records which are having a duplicate values for example if I will find the salary for John I just changed the name here from Nancy to John and you can see like I am getting three different records all right so reason is we have the multiple employees with the name John so whenever you want to ensure like in a query must return a single value you should pass something like employee ID means where you are sure like you will be getting only a single value but with the name fields called like first name you may get the multiple records from the inner query so for those things what we can do is we can go for some multiple row operator as equals to not equals to greater than less than greater than equal to and less than equal to are all the single row operators so what I'll do here if I want to get all those employees who are earning more than John now there is there are two situations let me write a query first first name comma last name comma salary from employees where salary is greater than what greater than now I'll write the select statement for John alright and now you can get an error an error is saying single row subquery returns more than one row alright that is how I discussed so what I'll do here rather than just using greater than I have a couple of options like greater than any or greater than all if I will use greater than all it will make sure like the in the result the value means the salary of all employees will be greater than all the salaries of John for example here in the output you can see like all the three joints have a different salary like 82 8201 2700 and 14,000 all right so when I'm using all means whatever the output will come means whatever the result will be there in the output the salary of all the employees will be greater than 14,000 means greater than 27 greater than 82 and greater than 14,000 that means about all so here in the output you can see all the records uh, having salary more than 14,000 now if rather than going for all if I'll go for any means the out in the output the result can be greater than any of the salary for example if there is any employee who is earning more than 27,000 will 2700 will come 
any employee earning more than 8200 will come any employee earning more than 40000 will come so here you can see there is a big result because obviously any employee who is earning more than 2700 is here in the output so this is how you can start working with the single row and multi row subqueries you can also try some variants while working with the subquery for example I want to get the name of those employees who are earning the minimum salary in the table so if the minimum amount is 2100 there may be multiple employees earning that particular amount so that thing or such things can also be achieved by working with the subqueries so here what I'll do is I'll say select first name comma salary from employees where salary is equal to the minimum salary but as I said we cannot use the group function in the where clause so what I'll do I'll use a subquery where I'll find the minimum salary so select minimum salary from employees all right since I am not using the group by so it will just return me a single value and I'll compare that particular minimum salary value to this outer query and here there is someone called TJ who's earning 2100 so if there are multiple employees earning the same amount that will be here in the output but there is one more very important question like similarly you can also find the maximum salary by just converting that minimum to maximum alright so here you can get Stephen earning 24,000 but uh, in the interviews uh, generally there is a very common question like finding the second highest salary and that you can also get from here so what you, will, you can do is you can just find the maximum salary if you will find the maximum salary that will be the biggest salary here alright where salary is less than the maximum salary select max salary from employees all right so here is the second highest salary means the maximum salary which is less than the maximum salary means after this maximum salary this is the maximum is the second highest salary that we have and if you want to get the name of the employees who are earning this amount you can just add one more out query after that so what I'll do here is select first name from employees where salary is equal to then this and then one more closing bracket again oh a spelling mistake let me clear, clear, uh, correct it here and let's execute it alright so Nina and Lex are the employees who are getting the second highest salary so th now you are good to continue with the subqueries that are returning a single value or multiple values